Hey there, guys. I'm Sonic Ghost. Hey, guys. It's a Tony Nick. I'm Ryza51, the Angel of Light. And I am Matt from Matt's LP Adventures, and look at that beautiful N64 logo. <laughs> ah, rare. Yeah. Your glory days. The times. The times. Before you went into the Dark Ages. Actually, it's not really that dark anymore with the rare collection coming At out. At the same time, no, that's nothing new. It's just a collection, unfortunately. I'd like to see what they're doing with the new IP, though, in the future. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about some Diddy Kong Racing on the N64. Honestly, Hi, the better racing game on the N64 compared to Mario Kart. I thought Mario Kart was great growing up, but once I played this, it just, it just felt a lot better. It's Hi, a really Conker. good game. Yeah, and this also was a game that was supposed to introduce new characters in the Rare series to get their own games. And the only two that actually got their own games was Banjo for Banjo-Kazooie and then Conker with his Conker games, like Bad Fur Day. We know how well that turned out. <sighs> it turned out to be an $80 game on eBay. That's what happened. There's a reason why so many people were excited that was announced in that Rare collection. Because <laughs> now it's not going to be a stupidly expensive game. You say that. Lester, I know, it's still gonna get worse. Say that. It's just because if you're an Xbox One owner, it's not gonna be as bad, because you could just buy the collection for 30 bucks. I did he. Why isn't your buddy Donkey Kong in this game? I never quite understood that. Yeah, Donkey Kong's at home sleeping. Freaking lazy monkey. They never explain it. Never. So there's two modes in this game. There's normal and mirror. You unlock mirror after you beat the game, it's... You know, just like it says, the mirror mode. You drive the courses in a different order, basically. Just flip flops. So there's no so point in like doing that. So it's like mirror mode in Mario Kart 64. Pretty much, or any other Mario Kart okay. you can think of. Okay. Pretty simple. It, it does make one alteration. It's a little bit harder, but I'll explain that one alteration once we get into that mechanic. But that won't be until the next video. Over now, we'll introduce the story. Uh, basic idea here is this place is being overrun by Whizpig, and you're here to race to save them somehow. <laughs> the DS version of this game actually gets more in-depth to what was going on in the story, but this is all we get from the N64 version. Oh yeah, the stupid elephant. The stupid purple elephant that, you, that takes up more screen time than anybody else in this game. Just because it gives you the balloons. Which, you can skip that cutscene now. Oh, you can? Yeah. I don't think I do, because, you know, I got the balloon. So, I just want to show it. But if you stay in the center and honk your horn, this is how you talk to them and get a bunch of your different vehicles. And there's three kinds. There's a car, hovercraft, and a plane. I'll be using the plane a lot for obvious reasons. What is the... Can I ask what the hovercart... Is that, like, your boat? Pretty much. It's just a boat. Okay. Hi, balloon. Are your balloons like stars in Mario 64? Exactly like stars. You need a certain okay. amount of balloons to open up new areas and new tracks. So I'm going to be collecting pretty much all of them. This is a 100% run. Although I do screw up here in the beginning because I haven't played Diddy Kong Racing in a while and I forget a balloon in the <laughs> overworld. It's actually right there on screen. You can see it for a brief second behind those two trees. I don't get that until endgame. <laughs> I mean, I don't need it until yeah. then, but I completely forget about it, and I realize later my total is wrong. I wonder, wait, which balloon did I miss? I scrub back through the footage and I realize it was that one. Oops. That's a kicker. Okay. Aren't you kind of forced to get 100% in this game anyway? Yeah, if you want to complete the entire thing. If you're just going for, like, the first ending, you're fine. You don't have to do 100%, but you do if you're like trying to do everything. Like, actually brace all the tracks. I got that far in the game. And I could not figure out how to get into the uh, lighthouse to move on to the last uh, tracks. Yeah. So that was as far as I got in the game. Yeah, that's after the first ending. You could just stop there if you wanted, but if you wanted to complete it, you need everything. And one of the things I just collected on the field, the key, you need to collect those as well because they unlock battle games, and you need to complete the battle games to get an item as well, which counts towards the first ending, actually. You need to do those to actually beat the game your first time. I'm actually gonna go look up because I like, um, I like looking this kind of stuff up whenever we're doing like a game I haven't seen, like prices for for a while. I'm gonna go look up how much Diddy Kong Racing is on. eBay. Yeah, check the original, and then you can check the DS version because this okay. game did get re-released on the DS. 
Oh, I it's think actually it's really okay, but uh, I just it's don't actually think the controls both good. versions are really cheap. Like I'm seeing the first one I typed it in. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing N64 game, 18 bucks, 12 bucks. And there's one that's starting bid is seven. <laughs> yeah, no, the game is pretty um, common, so Diddy that's Kong not too surprising. Diddy Kong Racing DS is 8.50, like 13 dollars. It's really, really cheap. Yeah. Okay. The, so these games as, were pretty common back then, so it makes sense. So it gives you your balloons. That that stupid elephant gives you the balloons. Aaron. Like I said before, it takes up more screen time because it's like, whenever Mario gets a star in Mario 64, he, he does like, like that twirl. Like, do, 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 do. Here we go! It's yeah, and just like holds it up like, real quick in other games. But here, you gotta wait for the elephant to come in and then he just gives you the balloons. Like, oh yeah, thanks. Now I want to go race again. So it does take up time. Like I said, you can skip it though. Lester, I just now noticed you always play the gotta go fast games. Only. Hey, I like racers. These are fun. <laughs> Especially the ones that have story modes, because they actually have replayability. Yeah. I mean, I a racer on its own does already, but if you don't have friends around, then it's not as replayable as something like this. Yeah, at least this game has, like, some sort of single player, like, content. Yeah. I, I, if we haven't noticed by now, all the races we've done on this channel have single player modes, story modes. Those are really the only ones we're doing like this, for obvious reasons. Because even if we'd met up in person anytime soon, we wouldn't be doing a racing game story. We would just play a racing game. Yeah. And then kill each other at the end, because that's what we do. <laughs> well, especially with Mario Kart, yes. Do you know when you said that, Amber? The, the first thing that popped in my mind was when the Super Gaming Brothers were, like, strangling each other in that one clip. <laughs> It actually reminds me of a Warp Zone video. They actually made like a video showing like why friends don't play Mario Kart together. They get together. Oh, you're playing Mario Kart. I should join. No, 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 no. He joins anyways, and at the end, he sh they're trying to kill each other. <laughs> what well, good reason? Yeah. I played I played a Mario Party with my friends not too long ago, and he legit almost wanted to freaking kill somebody at the end of the time at the end of the thing because um, we were playing Mario Party too. And I got, you know, whenever you land on one of the spaces, you sometimes get a hidden block. Yep. I got a star out of it. He's just like, I'm going to freaking murder you, like right now. And he like he pulled out the he pulled out his controller out of the socket. And he's like, I'm gonna strangle you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And I was like, No, you put that down. <laughs> yeah. Oh there, there's your balloon. Again. Like hey, I this one doesn't before. have a string. <laughs> How is it? Budget cuts. I, I Budget cuts. No, no, it's gonna fly away. I can't hold on to yeah, it. Yeah, good question. How do these balloons not fly away when he gives them to you? It's not realistic. If he just held it out, it'd just be flying in the air. Lester, that's the same, the same as the exact thing as when Tails asked where does he hold all those golden rings? Unless it's some kind of special kind of helium. I guess, but weighted he, helium. Maybe, maybe he has some sort of extra dimension, like Kirby does in his stomach or something like that, and he just stores them there. That sure, also wouldn't be that. surprising. <laughs> I don't know. Video game logic. What am I? Just... That's why it wouldn't be surprising because nothing it's makes sense. Game. Or a monkey video racing game. in a go kart. I'm gonna say now this one. <laughs> I'm yeah, with the far uh, one here. Uh, good idea. Not to question freaking game logic. I question you, not game logic. How does how does an Italian plumber f go through in a mush? A Why are you questioning this again? Stop it. No, uh, just you wait. I'm gonna get a lot of questions here at the next race. Oh, hey, look, you're about ready to lap somebody. You lap two people. Yeah, I just lap two people. About to lap a third. Three. There, three. And my way, banjo. I want to make you four. <laughs> <laughs> banjo, banjo, see, you suck at cart ride riding games. Even the one on 360 sucks. See, you can't drive for shit. Well, to be fair, the first All Stars racing game isn't as good as All Stars Racing Transforms. I can give you that. Wait a second. Oh, he, was yeah, right. he was in the 360 version. He was in the 360 version of All Stars Racing, wasn't he? He well, was an exclusive for that one. The Wii version the got only... Mies. The PS3 version got Jackal. That's why you get that one. 
360 version, because that's the only time you'll ever see Banjo and Sonic in the same game. That's true. Meanwhile, I own it for PC because it came with a big Sonic collection. Did it get Jack all too? I think so, yeah. Because I know in All Star Also, Trace. racing games oh, do have hell? glitches um, too. Uh, Lester. Oh, I know he's doing. Okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. What are you talking oh, about? Those yeah. arrows here. Yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah, so racing games also have their good share of glitches, especially down the N64. If you go fast enough, you could just clip through the bottom, just kind of fly around the edge. Oh There's funny God. enough a loading sure. zone underneath the starting point, and on later versions of the game, it actually counts as storage, so you can leave and actually go back to the hub world, and that's how you can get like trophies really easily in the game. On my version, it just crashes the game though, but that's what you can do in later releases. Oh my gosh, Lester, you're a freaking cheater! You freaking cheater! Hey, I'm a monkey I, then, then driving again. a plane. <laughs> Then again, I should be expecting this now. You know? I was gonna say, you've known her for five freaking years. Look at that, you're out of bounds on the map. Like, you're going inside the circle. I know, I'm going so inside, I'm disappearing. I am not okay with this. <laughs> even the level here? isn't, even the level isn't. When you said that, it just gave me two exclamation points. What? Let me, fly, let me just clip. Yeah, I, I fixed my Yeah, see, the game is so confused, it just puts you back inside. <laughs> he's like, and Mr. Elephant's like, come over. He's like, how'd you do that so fast? Magic Monkey. How the hell did you do that so fast? Magic Monkey. Now, whenever you say that, I think of the, ma the monkey talisman from Jackie Chan Adventures. Magic Monkey. Magic must defeat magic. Somehow. It's boss time. We actually do raise bosses in this game, and this is how we progress the story. Tricky? Tricky, is that you? <laughs> now, this is, like, way before Tricky, so this is, like, what, maybe his well, grandfather or great-grandfather? Well, it makes sense because Star Fox Adventures was made by Rare, so... And also Tricky was a Triceratops, so... Yeah, he's a cheater. Yeah, this guy does cheat a lot. He can really rubber band. That's why I just like to get behind him in the beginning and shoot him. <laughs> shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. He won't mind. Why does this remind me of something? Well, that might remind me of Indiana Jones right there. This is um, the one boulder. What's it reminding you of, Amber? Like I don't know. It seems like something we just said recently, Lester. Another game where you got behind something and kind of rolled into them. Hmm. Obviously not on this channel. Um, no, not on this channel. Um, oh, whenever you fight God on Majora's Mask? You ruined it. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you ruined it by actually telling people. I'm sorry. I was trying to be smart for once. Also, oh, this I shortcut here is really oh only God, good that's... to do in the first race because you race this guy twice. That booster's not there in the second race. So it's a lot harder to take and not as worth it. Unless you have like the max boost from the, the items. Yeah. So it could be a little dangerous. Oh so yeah. Oh my because gosh, Lester. Funny thing is if you boost off of the, the shortcut at the wrong time, you will fall off. And if you fall off, you instantly lose and gotta do this again. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't imagine. Hey look, it's not the, the balloon guy. Because I don't get a balloon for this. Okay, Tricky's Grandpa. So pretty much, we do the exact same races again, but now collecting coins in the beginning. Also, stupid thing about these cutscenes, if your subtitles turn off, you don't get any message. So he can be like, I got something to tell you. That's it, have a nice day. But you don't get the message. It's dumb. <sighs> I feel like that's kind of an oversight because that should just be in there no matter if you have your subtitles on or off. I wonder if they fix that in DS version. I don't think they do because I I believe they changed how the hints work. I haven't played a DS version in years though, so I don't remember. Hey look, N64 flags. Do you think that this was in the DS version too? Actually, I do think they were. 
Like I said, it's been a while, but there were some assets that just left in the game. Because they can't. That is That's true. Why. Will you show off Lester? <laughs> we drift. Drift we, to win. The equivalent of NASCAR, except not going left enough. Well, going NASCAR right. NASCAR doesn't drift. That too. Also, NASCAR it, doesn't run over frogs. Oh gosh. This got morbid real quick. Hello, friend. Well, the funny thing is, one of your unlockable characters appears as a frog, and you run over the frog to unlock the character. Oh my gosh! Commit homicide, why don't you? No worry, he's fine. He just gets rebirthed into a rooster. What? That's Drumstick's life for you. He just gets reborn from a frog into a rooster. hes You can tell who he is because he has the little hair sticking up on a frog. So you just see this normal frog with a red thing sticking from his head. Hmm. Because why not? Of course you gotta run him over. <laughs> the abomination.